guess I, I started this uh, project several years ago when I wanted to look at uh, the way people are engaging in landscape, which is kind of something that's been a part of my work for a while now. Uh, I've always been interested in how people relate to urban environments. But then I made the shift into kind of like the Australian hinterland and, and desert environments pretty much with this project. But when I was asked to do the gig, I was, I was, um, I was interested in, in presenting work that was Australian. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd worked on, on projects uh, all over the place and, um, and I guess this idea of like transnationalism is pretty uh, popular in the art world, but I actually wanted to talk about, you know, where I was from and what kind of formed my identity or, or even ha what, what gave me a kind of particular relationship to my environment, which was things like cinema and Australian art history. We have like a pretty strong connection to, you know, I guess a sense of landscape here at least. So that it, was, it was kind of different, but I was interested in this idea that things are kind of lost in translation. As soon as you transmit certain work, that, that, that work is always going to change. Um, and that was kind of a part of the project, like the idea of taking the car to Venice and the fact that that place doesn't even have any roads, you know, it's kind of pretty much canals. Um, so the car's not really going anywhere, it becomes like this dysfunctional sculpture. Um, those, kind of, those, those were kind of interesting ideas for me to explore over there. The, the way that I was kind of thinking about it simply was that for someone like Sidney Nolan, Ned Kelly was a kind of historical figure that had been seriously mythologized. And, and for me, uh, I was kind of like involved in a kind of critique of that relationship that Nolan had to Kelly. Like for me, my relationship to s sort of a figure like Mad Max is, is very different because it's a fictional character. Um, so it's almost sort of saying like this kind of hero within my childhood wasn't actually real, um, strictly speaking. So, um, but then even though that figure is from kind of a kind of fictional narrative rather than an, an historical figure, the same kind of mythologizing is in play. And that's kind of like an interest that I have with this whole kind of project is this idea of a kind of um, mythological progression. Even if the figure starts off as a fictional character, they become quite real for people, especially people who are interested in kind of replicating certain things or trying to get closer to a film by, um, you know, b uh, buying into some of the characters' costumes or for, for this um, particular project, the cars or whatever. So um, I'm kind of interested in, in this idea of like a, a, a kind of cultural fiction in a, in a sense. In a way, there's a whole lot of tensions. I'm sort of looking at historical material um, from the perspective of a contemporary artist, and um, I sort of respect that material. I'm not kind of in this kind of um, historical lobotomy where I just think that I just kind of keep moving on and try and pushing into the future. There is this kind of recourse to history that I'm interested in. And, um, and I think that I relate to work that's like that, you know, not only in Australian history, but in, in international art, you know. So, um, I like this, I, this tension between a kind of contemporary practice and it trying to negotiate historical models. That's, that's kind of like where I'm really coming from as an artist at the moment. A part of the job for me, in a sense, is to kind of keep all of the references really open. Do you know what I mean? Like, so, um, say like with an issue like masculinity, like for, for some of my filmic references or even like some of the historical references, there's a lot of masculinity connected to those references for sure. But then I guess um, I like to kind of think that there's a lot of space to negotiate that stuff, like that um, in the work there's a kind of contemplation or people can even read things like uh, compassion or meditation in the work and, and the, even the f work is presented in a different way. It's not like about blaring sort of soundtracks and furious jump cuts and stuff. So in a way I kind of try and deactivate some of the masculine uh, content in that work. I, I like the idea of slowing things down and thinking about it and, and that um, is definitely still kind of there in the references or whatever, like say masculinity is still there but, um, that it, but it, there's a kind of distancing process that I'm interested in. And then also, um, I guess, religious content is something that I, I'm interested in negotiating as well. Like, um, 
for instance, that, that image that you were talking about with uh, approach to Monday Monday with a figure with their arms kind of spread out. I mean, in, in my thinking, um, and it's kind of not exactly like a kind of free secular kind of re reference, like I do understand that people look at that and see that it's like a, 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 a potentially religious reading in that work. But, um, but also I'm interested in other histories like say, um, Leonardo da Vinci's uh, Vitruvian Man, you know, this idea of um, a kind of meditation on the human form and its symmetry and balance, you know. And, and that kind of interests me because um, in a way one image can kind of maybe have a few different references. Uh, you know, and, and that, that, that particular one, the Vitruvian Man one, is kind of interesting because, you know, the, the, the guy isn't just kind of illustrating balance like in Leonardo's kind of great illustration of, of um, the Vitruvian sort of form but but actually the the bike rider has to balance through knowing their kind of symmetry so it's kind of almost like demonstrating the Vitruvian project or something I had to kind of get get out get out there and get the figure on the bike and actually perform it and test it so it's kind of an experiment with certain historical models.